What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Raven Simone, and I am back with another video. First of all, y'all, I just want to say, like, how much it feels so good to be back. Like, I cannot even believe that we back on YouTube, okay? Listen, y'all. It's 2022. We're not taking no more breaks. I want somebody to make like a compilation video of how many times I say that. But no, for real. Y'all, we're not taking no more breaks. Like this was really the last time. Like so much stuff has been going on. So much stuff has been going on. But I'm so excited to be back with y'all. I miss y'all. As always, tell your mama, tell your man, tell a friend. Come subscribe to the channel. Make sure you scroll down. Give this video a thumbs up. Click that bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload because I I don't want you to miss a video you don't want to miss a video i don't want you to miss a video and that's just that so y'all already know sit down sit back i know everybody been like what's going on what's the tea what's the tea so if you're interested in seeing what's been going on with your girl make sure you continue watching the video okay let me matter of fact let me take the little jacket let's unbutton the jacket let's just sit back Matter of fact, let's take the jacket off. Like, take her off. Take her off so we can sit back and we can really get into it. So, um, I told y'all to ask me questions on Instagram so that I can answer y'all questions before we really get into the whole chat, the whole tea. So, it's a few questions. Like, I was reading through them. A few questions that I'm going to answer, but the other ones, they kind of go into what I'm going to be talking about. So, Let's just get into the questions. How y'all been? Y'all missed me? Comment down below if y'all miss me. Because I miss y'all so much. Like, it is so crazy. How old are you? 25. What was your first job? Like, my first, first, first job was working at King's Island. I was working at King's Island. It's like an amusement park, like a Six Flags type of thing. How tall are you? I'm five feet. What's the biggest turn off in a person that you dating? That's a good one. Broke. Broke. No money, broke, corny, um, just not making my life easier. And then, y'all, Faye did ask this question. She's talking about, who is your favorite cousin? And don't lie, y'all. I don't got no favorite cousin. All my cousins is my favorite cousins. But, the goods, you know, you my Faye. Y'all go follow the goods on her girl. I'm going to put her link down in the description box. When is the next big move to the next big city? The next big move is very soon know that i'm not even gonna tell y'all the city because you know i want to do the whole vlog and everything and just let y'all see but just know the next move is very soon within months i'll say that but yeah okay so those are pretty much like the questions that i can answer without getting into the conversation so Nia, let's really sit back Let's really sit back and let's get a slipper. If y'all wondering why I don't have no food, I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I recorded this video and I accidentally deleted it. So here I am recording it again. That's why I don't have no food because I didn't go get sushi again. But my sushi was good. I showed y'all a little bit of it. Um, also too, there's so many people who think that I'm from Atlanta. I am not from Atlanta. I'm from Ohio. I went to school in Atlanta for four years. And then I, in 2018, I moved to Texas. So I'm not from Atlanta, y'all. Because there's a lot of people that be thinking I'm from. And there's some people that think I'm from Florida. This dude was just telling me, like, you not from Florida? I'm like, uh, no. So I don't even sound like I'm from Florida. I don't even sound like I'm from Atlanta. But whatever. That's just to clear that up. So in March of last year, me and Royale decided to, um, go to dallas and we went to dallas y'all seen the vlogs like we met tj we went out da, 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 da. that was our first time going to dallas that's when we did the hair shoot a couple weeks later probably like two weekends later we ended up going to houston went to houston y'all seen the vlog for that too to get out so we literally y'all decided that we're moving to dallas like we chose out of the two we chose dallas and when i tell y'all it moved so fast like i probably went to dallas um like, like I said, at the beginning of March, I was literally moved to Dallas officially by April. And at the time, y'all, it was just like the best thing since sliced bread. Like, I was just like, what? We is in Dallas. We in a whole new city with all these black people. And you know what I'm saying? Like, now we in the... Now we in it. Um, And it was great. However... Within the first week of us moving there, they already was sending the security to the door. 
I already was sending security to the door to like local police officers, whatever, to the door, like complaining the loud music, complaining that uh, the smell of smoke, complaining this and that. We like, sir, like we just moved in here 72 hours ago. Like, what are you, what's going on? Um, that, that started becoming like a pattern y'all. So that was like the one thing that was with that apartment when we was living in Dallas. Um, then y'all like, I, as all of that is going on, I am going through this whole like transformation awakening because honestly, I feel like leading up to me turning 25, I was just getting hit after hit after hit after hit y'all like, and it's so crazy because I had asked God like going into 25, I want to be a new woman. I do. I want to be a completely new woman. Um, everything that I do, my aura, my energy, everything about it. I want it to be elevated. I want it to be different. And that's exactly what he did. It was like, boom. First thing was the security constantly coming to our door, but starting to feel like harassment. Like, what? Um, so, and you know, I started calling on them. You know, I don't care. So, anytime I heard any type of noise, I was calling up people, sending them to their door. Because you're not finna do this to me. Second, y'all. Um... We started working at the hair company. You already know um, the hair company that we was working for. And that was cool. Like, it was a cool little job. Hours was cool. Like, I could really just do what I do at that job. Y'all already know. I could really just do what I do at that job. Um, and it was like, okay. So, I was working my little job. We were just trying to, like, get into the groove of things, man. Bro. And it just felt like we were so on the right path, man. Like, um... It just did. So then fast forward a couple weeks. Like now it's May. Like I'm getting baptized. Like, um, and I just, like I said, I feel like I'm just transforming into this new woman. Like, but I keep going through stuff. Like I'm constantly going through stuff. Just the growing pains, really. Um, and it got to the point where y'all like, probably like around, i say the month of June. I think I cried every single day in the month of June. Like I literally was crying myself to sleep every day because it was just like, I was dealing with just childhood traumas and just healing myself and bringing all of that stuff back up. Cause I said, going into 25, I don't want to go. I don't want to bring this baggage. So literally every day, like crying, praying, trying to read my word. Then it's time for my birthday. So I'm thinking like, okay, we finna go on this Mexico trip. Like it's finna be lit. Like y'all, everything went wrong. Like everything that could possibly go wrong, I think went wrong. Everything. First of all, I hired this guy to do my outfits for um, my trip. Cause I'm thinking like, you know what? Like I want to just, I want somebody to put my looks together. I want a stylist to put my looks together. Sent this man $700. Go ahead, do the looks, get it together. That's your stylist fee. That's enough for the looks. Can you just get me right? Y'all, how about when I got these looks, not one of them fit. First of all, I, and I was so confused because I'm like, I sent you my measurements, I, my exact measurements, my cup size, everything. Like, not one outfit fit. Not one outfit, the outfit that was cute. I don't know if y'all know those silver shorts. Um, that Jada had wore, but I was supposed to wear those silver shorts. Didn't fit, like literally nothing fit. Um, and then, so I get to talk to the, the guy and like, first of all, I didn't even get the outfits until two days before I was about to leave. I was supposed to leave on July 16th. My outfits didn't come till July 14th at night. So I had, mm, 36 hours to put all those looks together. All of those looks that y'all seen in Mexico was not supposed to be what they were. Like, that was because I literally had to take pieces and start rearranging outfits. Like, especially that purple outfit. That was not even supposed to be what it was. Thank God it all came out good just because <laughs> your girl is that girl. And shout out to Royale. But, yeah, that was just another thing. I was like, boo-hoo crying. In the midst of all of this, y'all, I didn't even get all my money back. That's another thing. In the midst of all of this, y'all, my car be complex. First is the harassment. Now my car is broken in two. Nobody don't know nothing. Y'all so busy sending the police to my door that they're not in the parking garage. Cool. Whatever. I'm just trying to like pick myself back up. Every time something happened, y'all, I'm just like, okay, Ray, pick it back up. Like, keep going. This is a part of 2025. Like, then Royale get this really big opportunity and then she can't come on my birthday trip. So I'm just like, you know what, man? At this point, nothing else could possibly go wrong. Like, what else could go wrong? We go on a trip, y'all. 
y'all seeing how everything ended up working out honestly y'all going to mexico was the highlight of my year it literally was just like all of that stuff that i went through leading up to that was worth it um it was just an amazing birthday trip an amazing trip um then we come back from mexico we done had a ball it is a as me brought your girl y'all seen it if y'all ain't watched my birthday vlog i don't know what y'all doing i don't know what y'all waiting on um but yes yeah, so come back from mexico boom 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 it's the end of july like summer winding down i'm feeling like okay i done turned 25 i done went through all my growing pains like everything is good now y'all <laughs> just when i thought just when i motherfucking thought how about we come back from Mexico and a few weeks later, we're leaving out to go to work. My laptop was in Royale's car, so we, we used my laptop at job. So I'm like, okay, I need the laptop. Let me go to the car. We walk into the car. Baby, her car is nowhere to be found in that parking garage. They done stole this girl car. Her whole car. I mean, I ain't never in my life felt how I felt in that moment. I was just in complete shock. I was in disdain. I was distraught. I was just like, yo, whole car? So this is strike three with this damn apartment complex. Strike three now. Because my car didn't, y'all done sent the police to the door. My car didn't got broken into. I told y'all about it. Warned y'all about it. Y'all told me y'all was going up security. Now, three, four weeks later, my roommate's car is stolen? It's no way. It's no way. I'm paying too much money to be living here. And these people had the nerve to tell us if it make y'all feel any better. This stuff type this, this type of stuff happened all the time in downtown Dallas. I said, ma'am, that's not comforting to us. Like, this is crazy. So, we started telling our families, our parents, like, yo, this is what's really going on now. She don't even have a car. Um, And they was just like, yeah, y'all need to pack up y'all stuff and go home. But, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Oh, before that. Here come another hit. Why at the job, y'all? When I came back from Mexico, if y'all go on my Instagram, y'all see y'all took a picture with them camo pants and them braids. That's when I came back from Mexico. I took that picture in the back of our um, job because we have like a photo shoot place in the back. Like a studio in the back where you could like have a photo shoot. So I took my picture back there. Just I felt cute. I wanted to take a picture. I was off work. That's what I wanted to do. Y'all, why the next day after I posted that picture, why don't people call me firing me from the job? Talking about they don't really see the work that I'm doing. I'm just on my phone taking pictures, doing this, doing that. I'm like, what? what? And this is how I know. I ain't going to lie to y'all. This is how I know working a job ain't for me because I be getting fired from every single job. <laughs> It's not even funny, y'all. But, like, I be getting fired from every single job. But, so now, here we are. Just want to let y'all know. Here we are now. Rose car is stolen. I have now been fired from the job. Um, All of this stuff is happening. Like, back to back to back to back. Our parents are telling us y'all need to pack up y'all stuff and go home. Mind y'all, we have only been living here since April 24th. It's now July. June. No, it's now, uh, we just came back. What's after July? August. <laughs> August. It's now August. So, May, May, June, July, August. We've only been living there four months. And now we just like, yo, we got to pack up and we got to get out of here. But I'm not going to lie. This is really, once we made this decision, I personally feel like this is where everything went downhill and I feel like everything took a turn for the worse and I literally was in a space of depression and I was just like I was just depressed every day the crying started back up again I was crying every single night I was just like man I done lost this damn job like now we gotta up and move then on top of that y'all I got sick the last time y'all seen me really post was right before I got sick we getting ready to move, but something just was telling me, y'all, like, moving to Atlanta ain't for me. And I don't want to be there. I'm the type of person, if I did something already, I don't need to do it again. Um, but everybody just kept saying, right, give it a try, give it a try, do it. Like, you never know, you grown now, like, it'll just be a different experience. So here I go, listening to everybody else but myself. And I didn't force myself to move to Atlanta. Knowing I should have just listened to my first mind and said, Raven, stay yourself in Texas where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Get ready to move to Atlanta. 
Mind y'all, I done reached out to my friends or whatever, letting them know, like, hey, y'all, we coming back. They kind of excited. Like, yes, we excited that y'all coming back. Like, what's it, what's it, blah. So, I'm telling one of my friends, and she's just like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, you know, like, if you need somewhere to stay, you know, you can come stay with me just until you get on your feet. And then, boom. So, I'm like, all right, bet. I already told her how, like, just because of how I was raised, I have a real hard time asking people for stuff. If I don't have it and my mama don't have it, then I simply just don't have it. I don't like asking people for nothing because I don't like feeling like I owe people nothing. I don't like for nobody to say they did something for me. Or... She was just like, Ray, like, it's okay. Everybody have to go through this. Like, you can stay with me, girl. Da -da 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 -da. So, whole time, like, we preparing to move. I'm hitting her up, checking in. Like, hey, just making sure I can still come stay. You already know how uncomfortable I am doing this. But you offer it, so cool. I'm going to do it. Y'all. 48 hours two days before i got to atlanta i text the girl checked in with her hey just a reminder you know i'm gonna be there sunday morning i'm gonna hit you up sunday that way i can come to your house and blah blah, blah. i'm gonna drop my stuff off at the storage be the way to you do you know that this girl had the nerve to text me back and tell me hey um honestly a month you staying with me for a month is just too long i was supposed to stay with her um from september 4th to october 1st from september 4th to october 1st she's like yeah you staying with me for a month is a little bit too long honestly i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it um i don't think that's you know blah 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 i'm like are you kidding me you waited two days before i was supposed to be down there for you to tell me i can't stay with you and you already know how I felt about this situation from the jump. And this is what you did. Like, what? At that point, I was just, I was so mad, y'all. All Literally, I just kept saying to myself, how much worse could it get? How much worse could it get? I already don't have no job. I'm getting ready to move somewhere I truly don't want to go. But I'm just going. Because, I mean, what? And now the person who I'm supposed to stay with telling me I can't stay. Like, seriously, y'all, I was to the point where I was just like, man, I, I can't do it no more. I can't take it no more. I think that was really like the the depression was beginning to just overcome me. It was just beginning, beginning to just take over me. Like, so I'm like, okay, whatever, Raven, bite your bullet. Ask her, can you at least stay for two weeks? You know, just until I can find somewhere else to go. So she's like yeah you could stay for the first two weeks i'm like all right i'm gonna be there sunday morning i'm gonna hit you sunday morning when i get there that way i can come to the house and you know just shower whatever